you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with a lawyer. Okay. Do you understand those rights? Yes, sir. Okay. You can just sign where it says signature, and by signing there, you're just acknowledging that I went over your rights with you and that you do understand your rights. This is Brevard County, right? Right. Yes. I'm using 1500 more. Okay. Um, just going to get some, some basic info from you first, if we could. Um, and it's, and what's your birthday? Okay. And what's your uh, current home address? you have a cell phone? Okay. Where do you currently work at? How long have you been, you been working for them? How long have you been working for them? Are you from this area originally, or? you a Vikings fan? Uh, I was, and then when I lived in California, I was a 49ers fan, mm -hmm. and, and now I'm a Bucks fan, and the, and the Jaguars. Yeah, <laughs> none of us are Jaguars fans. No, <laughs> there are no such thing. Uh, I do. Anybody who plays the the Dolphins, me. <laughs> okay, okay, I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. Um, obviously, I just kind of want to talk to you about what occurred last night uh, up in Jacksonville. Uh, but I'd like to kind of back up to when did you come to Jacksonville? Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day. Okay. And what was the reason you came to Jacksonville? My my son uh, was getting married on Friday. Oh, okay. He was getting married on Friday. Yeah, and we have a small dog that we were going to travel with, mm -hmm. and the check-in time was right around the time of the wedding on Friday, so we thought we'd go up early. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, just to be there already. Okay. What time was the? So you came up Thursday. Where, where were we all staying? We were staying at the Sheraton. Okay. Do well, you remember where? Uh, Deerfield, but I'm Sheraton off Deerfield? Deerfield. Yes. Okay. Um, Friday, just. Um, what time was the wedding? Four. Four. Okay. So during the day, you're just getting prepped up for that, getting ready for that. Uh, where's the wedding at? Um, is there Orange Park? Is that someplace mm -hmm. close by? Yeah. yeah, it was Orange Park, um, and an old house, an old house, seventies house, right on the um, on the on the water. water. Yeah. Okay, very nice ceremony. Okay, um, about how long do you stay there? Um, I I don't know, but we were on our way back to the hotel when we stopped at that store. Okay, um, and let me back up for a second, just. Back to today. Let me just just so I can verify a couple. Are you under any? Do you take any prescriptions or anything like that? Any kind of? I I do, but it's um, anti-inflammatory for okay. my lower back. Lower back pain. Okay. You ever been? You never been diagnosed with any kind of mental health issues no, or anything like that? That's no, right. Okay. Um, I hold the CWP. I've been um, on private pilot. I, um, I'm I'm good upstairs. Okay. Like a computer programmer. Okay. Um. Any alcohol or drugs today? No, sir. Okay. Just have to make sure. I just kind of want to make sure you and I can just make sure we're having a lucid conversation is all. Um, I don't have much sleep. Um, you don't have to tell reading us. Reading the um, news reports, what the aftermath was. I didn't sleep very well last night. Okay. Well, I can understand that. I can understand. Um, we haven't had any either. So, yeah, we're right there. <laughs> we're right there with you. Um, okay. So, you go to the wedding, and you guys are headed back to the hotel. Um, do you remember the route you were, you were coming? Do you know the name of the roads that you're on, or no, my phone? You just follow the directions yeah. on the phone. Okay. Um, and you decide ninety five, get off on wherever to ninety five up to probably Bay Meadows. That sounds familiar. And then hang a left on South Side, I think, or you keep going on Bay Meadows. I'm trying to remember. I think and we um, whatever road we were on, we went straight until we turned down to, to Deerfield. Okay. Okay. Um, so you pull into the gas station. Okay. What was the purpose of stopping at the gas station? Um, uh, so just kind of walk me through, you know, just tell me from your point of view what, what you guys pull up. You're driving, is it now it's your car, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And you're driving? Yes, sir. Okay. So it's, it's a Volkswagen, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. She's sitting in the passenger seat. No one else in the car with you, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, just kind of walk me through kind of what happened at that point. Well, I'm embarrassed to say this, but um, got out. She's in the store, and there's like a SUV next to us. And um, 
then the the music starts, mm -hmm. and I I roll down my window, and uh, I thought uh, I was polite. I asked them nicely, I didn't demand, they didn't, mm -hmm. or else I said, hey, would you guys mind turning that down? And uh, they shut it off. Mm -hmm. I was like, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, cordial. Right. Are things cordial? I put my window back up. I'm doing my stuff, and. Um, I don't know how many kids are in that, but mm -hmm. the, the windows are down for the back seat. The mm -hmm. windows are up for the front seat. Okay. And um, the guy that was in the back is getting really agitated. And I, my window's up. I can't hear everything he's saying, but, you know, there's a lot of fuck him and fuck that and um, fuck that bitch. And then the music comes back on. And, you know, I'm just like, live and let live and, and you know don't don't need any trouble and and i don't know if they're singing or what but it's like um they're saying kill them so i put my window down again and i said excuse me are you are you talking about me um and it was like um kill that bitch and um you know, I'm, I'm still not reacting, but then this guy, like, goes down on the ground and comes up with something. I thought it was a shotgun. And he goes, you're dead, bitch, and he opens his door. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm shitting bricks. But that's when I reached in my glove box, mm -hmm. unholstered my pistol. I mean, I'm, I practice this. I'm at the um, Fort Malabar Rifle and Pistol Range. I'm an avid. Mm -hmm. You know, gun guy and all that. No <clears throat> military training or anything, but I have friends who are in the military that right. show me the proper the, way. Yes, and so um, quicker in the flash, I had uh, a round chambered in it, and I I shot. Okay. Do you remember how many times you shot? Four. Okay, just keep walking me through kind of right, what you well, remember. I, I, I shot four times, and um, and that SUV pulled out, and, and like I said, I'm, in my mind, they got a gun. And so, you know, not training, just from, I was still scared. Mm -hmm. And so I shot four more times as okay. they were fleeing. As they were fleeing? Yeah, trying to keep their heads down to not catch any return fire. Okay. All right, and then and that, and that was it. I mean, I I um I still didn't feel safe. I thought, you know, there was another car. I I didn't know. I mean, I'm in a strange town in a strange area. Mm -hmm. I just had my life threatened. The love of my life is in the store, mm -hmm. and she doesn't know what's going on. She come outside to see what was up, and I, I was just like, get in the car. We have to go. I, okay. I I just didn't feel safe there. In fact. Um, we had plans, in fact, a fairly expensive um, bed and breakfast paid for in St. Augustine. And, um, you know, after, after what happened last night, and we, we just, we were like, we have to go home mm -hmm. and call, call the local sheriff and okay. tell them what's up. Well, where'd you go after? We you went left? right to our room. You went right to the hotel? Yeah. Okay. Didn't, okay. didn't leave. We were just Stay like in the hotel sitting room? bricks waiting for another carload of thugs to come. I mean, uh, I'd never been so scared in my life for somebody to be, you know, I, I thought they were singing, mm -hmm. like, you're going to die, bitch. I thought, that, you know, and then I, the, it's getting a little louder. That's when I put my window down. I was like, Are you talking to, you talking about me? Mm -hmm. And that, and that's just like, you're dead. You're dead, bitch. Okay. So I um, went over this a million times, and um, what I should have done is put the car in reverse. But I, a shotgun come up or whatever, it was fight or flight. Mm -hmm. I don't think there was any time for flight at that moment. Okay. Was, I was going to get shot. Okay. So you, they pull out. You, as you said, you shoot to kind of keep their heads down as they're pulling out. That, that, that 
kind of your, your intention. I, I, your I thought mean, I have a shotgun aimed at me, and okay. I, I don't want them shooting at it. Okay. Um, and then gets in the car, you guys leave and drive and go back to the hotel room. Okay. And you guys just stayed in the hotel room at that point. Did you go anywhere else? No, we ordered out. Ordered. We got pizza. Pizza. Um, did you, at what time did you check out this morning? Eight, I Eight. think. When, when you called early mm -hmm. this morning, we had just got home. Mm -hmm. And I um, unpacked our few bags, mm -hmm. and uh, where our neighbor just down the way is a real good friend of ours, and he's in the government in some capacity. Mm -hmm. um, well, he's in law enforcement. I don't know which branch. Right. Um, but we were gonna go, you know, talk to him, and, mm -hmm. and like, do you do you do you know anybody in the sheriff's department that we could talk to? Because you know, I didn't. I didn't want it to happen the way it did. The way it did is, sheriff came with AR-15s, and so I was trying to avoid that. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, I give up. Um, but but that's where you called mm -hmm. when I was out the door to go. Um, they, yeah, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know at the time that they had actually been. They they were actually responding before I even got on the phone to them. So when you and I were talking, unbeknownst to me, they were already alerted to your presence there so well maybe my neighbor oh 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 I, I don't know yeah I you know because you know I, I told me I'd, right you know, that's why I said I was, I, was, uh, I was being honest with you when I said I'll give you five minutes to you know kind of like you said you said I'll be out the door in five minutes I said okay you know um the the um gun is it your gun yes it's um um a gun I've had since like 1990 Okay. What kind is it? It's a Taurus, PT-92. Okay. You know what caliber? 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter. Do you normally keep it in your glove box? Always. Always in your glove box. And you say you kept it holstered? On yeah, it's, it's um, a holster that's right inside the waistband, mm -hmm. but I'm a little uh, heavy. Uh, I used to carry it, but I'm too heavy. So I just keep it in the glove box? I just keep it in the glove box. Okay. Um, where is that gun now? in my glove box. It's still in the glove box. Okay. In your car. And your car is at your residence currently. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. How many do you know? Do you normally keep it fully loaded? Okay. You keep it fully loaded but not chambered. You had to chamber I, it. I don't. My um, military friends think I'm an idiot, but I, I just don't. Okay. No, that's what I'm saying. You, you know, you normally don't keep it chambered. You knew to have to, you had to rack one to put one in the chamber. Okay. Yes, it's a practice. Um, right. Maneuver. Right. No, I know. I, I'm aware. <laughs> I know. Um, I know you, you're you're in a strange town, and you you know you had this traumatic event happen to you, and I can understand that. Okay. The problem I can tell you where we start to kind of get a little wondering is. By the time you say you get to your hotel room, you're calling to order pizza. Why aren't you calling us? I wanted to come back to my hometown to do that, and our dog and everybody were where they needed to be. I I, I didn't want to bring a shit storm down on them in Jacksonville. Okay. Well, I mean, it wouldn't. They haven't. I mean, they're not anything to be worried about. She hasn't. True. You know, it's not like. She's there. Yeah. There's, I can, um, there's nothing she did wrong. I was, um, you know, I shouldn't even left the scene, mm -hmm. but I left the scene because I was still afraid for. Okay, and I, and I, I can, I can, I can, I can live with that. Okay, I can live with that. You don't necessarily want to hang around right where the shooting happened because you don't know if these guys are coming back. I, I'm good with. Or that. if there are more. You know, but once you leave and you are away from that scene, and you've even gotten to a hotel room and inside your hotel room at that point, you know, now it doesn't, now it makes me wonder, you know, because if you make a phone call, one, we find out, you know, a lot quicker what's going on, okay? The reason he and I haven't been asleep since sometime yesterday is because we're trying to figure out, all we know is we got a guy, we got a dead kid in a car, Okay, 
and we got a guy who shot and hauled ass. That's all we know. You see what I'm saying? I, I do, and just me too. Um, to call you guys last night, and mm -hmm. I was um, insistent on waiting until we got around people we knew. Okay. I mean, I, I just, I'm just. That's where we start to get a little concerned. It starts to be, um, you know, and, and I'll, you know, we can speak to. It. I've had, I personally have had a, had a case with an individual who was moving to Jacksonville, first day in Jacksonville, and got involved in an incident and felt threatened and shot another person and was in their car. And he drove across the street to another parking lot and got on the phone with 911 immediately and started walking police into where he was. You know, that's the way it's, I mean. Hey. I have nothing to say other than that. There are other problems that we have, too. When you began to shoot, can you honestly tell us that you ever saw a gun inside that vehicle? I saw a barrel come up on the window, like a like a uh, single-shot shotgun where there's a barrel. Mm -hmm. I didn't see this part of the barrel. I saw that part of the barrel. And it was either a barrel or a stick, but, sir, they're, they're, they're like, we're going to kill you. And then they say, you're dead, bitch. I mean, I, I, I didn't wait to, to look to see um, if they were going to point it at me. He reached down and picked it up. And you then say he, who, was, who reached down and picked it up? Well, hopefully it's the guy that I hit. Though it was, Where was he sitting? When he he was sitting in the um, rear passenger side. Okay. And that, that's the guy that was... Um, really agitated mm -hmm. and and then that's the guy that I asked are, 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 you, are you are you talking about you're gonna kill me like I said I didn't know what you know my window is up he was saying a lot but that's what came through and I put my window down to ask him mm -hmm. and the music is still playing at this time and yes, but he is really loud and really animated. Louder than the music that's bothering you? Yes, well, the music was a nuisance at first. You know, with my car shut and the windows up, and you just hear the heavy bass. Um, and like I said, I just said, hey, would you mind turning it down? And they did. They shut it off, which, uh, you know, I said, thanks. Um, but it really wasn't uh, an issue of loud music. It was an issue of them threatening my life. But it started from you. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that's when I started and telling you guys. And the music was playing when you pulled up? No, it was, it was not. It was not? No, it wasn't in the other car, and she'd been gone for a little bit. She wasn't in the store very long. I shouldn't have done say she's not in there very long. Like we said, there's some issues that we have. Um, I'll be the first to tell you there's no weapons in the car. I don't know what you saw. That's the possible when they drove off, they dumped it? They never left the parking lot. Yeah, they drove out, circled right back around, and came right back to that spot. Oh, okay, because... They circled around until they saw you leave, and then they drove right back. Because they, they saw you around. leave at that they point. They saw you leave, and they realized their friend had been hit. So they never left the park. They came right back at that point. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm... I don't know what to tell you. Um, Here, here's what has to happen. I know that from your, protect, from your position right now that you want to do everything to protect yourself. And I can't say that I blame you for that. But we're going to need the total, total truth as to what happened. Not this story that I've had from 7.30 last night to 12 o'clock today to fix up. Because okay, the only thing that's going to make sense to us is the truth matching the scene. And there was the biggest problem we got, the first hurdle we got to get over is that there's no weapon in that truck. Do you have a stick? Because he stuck something up. I'll go check it. I don't recall seeing anything like that, really. But I'll, I'll double check it. I'll look again. 
But, we, you know, obviously our main thing is when we're going through, we're looking for any kind of weapons, any kind of evidence of a weapon, shell casing, Well, the bullets. second problem we have is that the last set of rounds, when the truck is backing away from you, and you put four more sets in it, four more shots into it, that's an issue. Because now if it's backing away, it's no longer a threat. Yes, sir. I, I understand that. In uh, in my mind, they had a weapon. Okay. I can't shoot someone because in my mind they had a weapon. Okay. That's that's the problem. I mean, if I walk up to someone right now and I'm having a confrontation with them, and I think they have a weapon, the law doesn't allow me to shoot them because I think he has a weapon. I think you would have a hard time arguing with with your statute versus any one of them that. They could get out and beat you up. Or four of them. Even the four of them. I think you would have a, a hard time arguing that the four of them could have done anything to you. Yes, sir. Um, how, let me ask you this. When you, how were you, when you pulled your gun out, you're, say you're sitting in your driver's seat like that straight ahead, how are you, how did you shoot? Did you shoot one-handed? Did you shoot two-handed? Two-handed, like Two-handed like this, you come across your body. Okay, and you shoot the first, what you said, four shots is what you remember. And then they start backing out. Do you continue to shoot through the window, or do you... I don't recall, but I do remember getting out of my car and taking, um, like, getting sideways. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, waiting for the wink, or... Uh, uh, once uh, again... All this is... Okay. Once again, if you think they have something... Think they have a shotgun? They have a shotgun. You think they have a shotgun? Are you gonna get out of your car so they can get a good, good aim on you? Make any sense? Well, at the time, it, I was doing everything on adrenaline and no. But I'm just saying that we're trained to, if we think something is there, to get out of the way, to get out of the way, cover or concealment. So you're telling me that you thought they had a shotgun, but you got out of your car so they could get a good aim at you. Is what you're telling me? Well, I thought maybe they would shoot out the car and I wouldn't be in it. But well, the car, your car is not shooting at them. You are. Why yeah, would they shoot out your car? Shadow. They can't. Uh, honestly, sir, I'm um, at a loss to, to justify what I did on the second volley. Right. Other than to say I, I thought they were shooting, going to be shooting back, and I was keeping them from doing that. And I was in such a panic. Fear for my life, for the love of my life. That I, I didn't, you, you know, I fear for the love of your life, what had they done? Well, had, had, the had they been out of their truck doing whatever to me when she came out, they would have, I just assumed. Um, so once again, we're acting off assumptions. Because they weren't out of their truck. They were not out of the, their truck. The guy was coming out of his yeah, truck. One, the driver had gone in the store. No, no, the guy that I was talking to, mm -hmm. the one that I shot, he was coming out of his truck. That's the one he said, you're dead, bitch, and opened the door. Okay, and at that, that point where you shot? That's the point where I went and grabbed my gun. Okay. Because I did, you know, everything's fine. They're just talking. And then all of a sudden... So you you get the gun, rack it, and then reassess? No, I didn't reassess. I so you, gra you, you grabbed, you, you, you went, something. grabbed gun, and rack, came up? Yes, sir. Okay. So you see him start to come out of the door of the truck. At that point, you turn to get your gun. Is that correct? You take it out of your glove box. You unholster it. You rack around, and you come back up on target. Yes, sir. Fluid motion. Okay. In the amount of time he's starting to get out of his tr out of the truck when you first start to go get your, but yet by the time you come back and start shooting, he's still in the truck. He's coming out. I think he saw what I was doing when it was running back in. I I don't know. But See, that, um, that's where I'm a little thrown off here. Okay, because he's he is sitting in the back seat of that truck when he is hit. Okay. Because the bullet goes right through the door. Three bullets went through that door. Okay? 
He wasn't. He wasn't hit standing outside the truck. Oh no, I, 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 I know. I shot through the door. Okay, so driving you, him how's back. You, how's you getting out of the door if you're shooting through it? You're confusing us. All right. Um, when the latch is coming off the door, mm -hmm. that's when I went to do what I was doing with the gun. And when I came back, um, I'm firing. When the latch is coming off the door. No, when when I got my gun out of the. When you, what you said earlier about the, when you see the latch, what do you mean by the latch coming? Well, the door's the door? opening, and he's stepping out. Okay, so he, and he's stepping out. Yes, and then I. And you go and reach, but by the time you come back and come up just blazing, somehow he's still sitting in the truck. Well, maybe I'm not as fast with the whole thing as I think I am, but it was. Or maybe he wasn't getting out of the truck. No, absolutely, he was. Here's the other problem we have: the guy in the front seat. The front passenger seat. He sees you. He has a perfect view of the whole thing. Right. His window so is up. Mm -hmm. He sees you getting the gun. So why would he let his friend get out of the truck when he sees you getting the gun? Pardon? Why would he allow the victim to be getting out of the truck when he I, already? I have no I okay. Yeah, I mean I think the guy in the front was the okay. reason. You also him. know that it was seven thirty, seven forty five PM and the gates gas station has several customers in the parking lot and everywhere and we've interviewed several people. This is the very first time that anyone has told us about anyone getting out of a truck. Okay. And, he, and here's where I would have a question too is, you're saying you, have, you feel like you have a threat that this guy's got a shotgun in your view. Okay, so you think he's getting out of the car. Okay, you know what I'm, so you turn to get yours. If he's unarmed, which he is, why is he going to be? I I don't know. Maybe he now thinks I'm on her. The 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 sad fact of it is is he's telling me he's going to kill me. You're dead, bitch. Are you, you asking to turn the radio down? See, that's that's the part where I don't understand. And you know what? And, I, and I'll tell you, you're getting really agitated. I could I could. I understand it because believe me, we deal with guys who you ask him to chill their radio down, they would get out of the car and shoot you. We deal with those kind of dudes all the time. This, here, here's, here's what I can almost bet you a year of my salary on. When you got into a confrontation with those guys, a man of your statue, if there was a gun in that truck, they would have shot you. They would have had to get out. They would have shot right through. They would have shot from the truck just like you were shooting from your car. Because you guys are, I mean, you're, you're directly next they to They have the beam I'm, on you. The I'm, truck is actually higher, higher than your you. car. I'm in front with the front passenger. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we can tell you another thing from work of murders in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. People don't get out of the car to be seen when they're shooting someone. They're going to shoot you right side of that truck. All right. I, I'm, he's getting I'm, out of his car where this close to each other, he was getting out of his car after after repeatedly telling me that he was going to kill me. So, I, you know, is he going to bite my ear off or shoot me with a shotgun? I, I wasn't too concerned about how he intended to do it. Now, and I'll tell you this. We talked to the other guys in the car, and they will all admit, they will all tell us. That was his name. Said, yep. Didn't like the fact he told him to turn the music down. He wasn't happy about that. He just he didn't like the fact that some strangers telling him to turn his music down. He's 17. He's a he's a teenager. Okay. You know you know how teenagers are. They're a little hard headed sometimes, especially when they're out on their own. And did did he throw some f bombs at you? Basically tell you to go fuck yourself multiple times? Absolutely. They said, yep, he was jaw-jacking back and forth with that guy. But at, n but at no time did any of them say, well, okay, he did say he was going to kill him. Because what's, it, it makes no sense, because what's he going to do? He's not armed. What, what's he, what's he going to, oh, I'm going to kill you and get out of the car. And we're talking about a kid. You know how many times that kid's been to jail? Never. He has no history of violence, and it's, it's not like we're getting some street thug. The thing is, the kid has is a truancy in school. 
We're not talking about a violent kid here. He has no track record. There are guys in Jacksonville who I'd go, okay, I'd believe that, because they got track records. This kid ain't got no track record. The kid sitting next to him doesn't have a track record. The kid, the kid sitting in front of him doesn't have a track record. None of them do. The driver's got a little bit. Stole a car when he was younger. That's it. These aren't violent guys. They pull up to, They pull up so the driver can run in and buy cigarettes. It's the only reason they're even there. They just got back from going to the mall. That's it. So I have a hard time buying how he... I, I, can, and I can totally see him talking shit to you. I can see that. But to take it to a level that he's threatening to end your life, when he can't, there's no way he can. He doesn't have anything. He didn't know that. I know. That's all the reason that all you're the, not knowing that is all the reason why you took your next step too far. Yeah, you far. Went, the problem is you went from zero to 100 I'm without ever getting to 50. I, I have a guy, um, very irate, saying he wants me dead. Well, if the other guys aren't corroborating, I'm sorry, but that's and, there, what and, and understand saying. too, there's people in the parking lot that can hear what's going on too. Not okay. one of them. We have what's called independent witnesses. Yeah, not associated. I, I understand. I wasn't sure that I heard him right. That's why I, I, I are you? Mm -hmm. Is this directed towards me? You're going to kill me? And that happens to be an exact quote of, "Are you talking to me?" That was an exact quote. Guys in the truck said he said some of the effect of, "Are you talking to me?" Yeah, so that's dead on. Yeah, he was talking to you. He's basically telling you to go fuck yourself, for, and I'm going to turn the music back up. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> the music is already up, and and he's talking to kill the guy. The whole, I, I just can't understand. If the music is up to the point where you're asking them to turn it down, how can you also hear the conversation that they're having? It does not make any sense. He's, he's livid. He's not talking. He's yelling. And my window's up, and I can hear him. I'm not making out all the words. But then I hear, um, um, you know, kill that son of a bitch, or kill that motherfucker, I think is what he was saying. How do you know it was him saying it? Well, when I um, put the window down and I asked him, he said the same thing. Yeah, kill that motherfucker. And then he, when he was opening his door, he, that's when he said, you're dead, bitch. And, you know, when, when you say he didn't have a weapon, he's on the ground, and you put something up on the thing and then gets out. I, I thought it was a shotgun. I, or a stick or, you know, some kind of weapon, but he's, he's confron confrontational okay. and using words like, I'm going to kill you and you're dead. And I didn't know he was 17. I thought he was a full-grown man. I thought they all were. And in my mind, they're all going to get out of this truck and shoot me or beat me. You know, or if had that been the case, somewhere. we would have a different argument. Had anyone been out of the truck walking towards you in any type of threatening manner, we would have a we were, totally we were different... parked right next to each other? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So no, there was um, no so, walking. It was him getting out, and he was an arm reach from me. Yeah, or but but those cars are mind. so close to each other, though. Him getting out... It's going to be hard for him to get out because he's back away from you. His door opens up. He's actually going to be shielding himself from where you are because you're closer up to the driver. Uh, all these things you're saying are great, but, you know, I, the, see, I, I, didn't, didn't, I didn't analyze all these things. I, I got know. the shit scared out of me. I know. And some guy is coming at me telling me what he's going to do or wants to do. I I reacted. I I I'm sitting here telling you guys I was in fear for my life. I honestly was. I have so much going on in my personal life. The last thing I want to do is be in trouble. I I don't want to cause you guys a sleepless night. I don't want to lose don't worry my about that. freedom. This is what I, this is what we do. Don't worry about that. This is what we do. Well, I mean the the last thing I'm looking for is trouble. The last thing. I mean, you don't think I have long like asking someone to turn their music down in a public place. Absolutely, that was stupid of me. Um, around here, I, I don't you, think if you, do, any, if you do process and elimination, had you not done that, then we wouldn't be here today, right? Ab you're absolutely, be running around. Absolutely. I I um. Do you think you overreacted? Well, 
I think I um I think I got the shit scared out of me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um you know, if we want to say because somebody's dead, I or hell, hell yes. That was um Well no, not even somebody who's dead. Let's say nobody even gets hit. You think you overreacted. What if you just hit the car a bunch of times and they drove off with a bunch of bullet holes in the car? Sir, from where I was sitting, a shotgun was coming up and at me. And so, um, I, I don't want to sound um, like an asshole, but if it happened again tomorrow where a shotgun was coming up, I, I think I would do the same. I hope I would and, and you know what, not be Mr. afraid Don, to do the same. If there was a shotgun coming up at you, we would expect you to do what you did. The problem that we have is that there is no shotgun. That's the bridge that we got to get across. You said you keep dwelling on the shotgun as if there was one at the scene. If there was a shotgun, a BB gun, any type of gun at the scene. Hell, if it was a water gun that was black that looked well, real at the scene. Like I said, it was a barrel. It could have been just a stick, but, I mean, it was... Could it have been your imagination? It certainly... Well, no. I mean, anything's possible, I guess, but... The... The... Him coming out of his car was not my imagination. Okay. And it was right after I saw that that he started coming out of his car and saying, you're dead, bitch. When you went and grabbed your gun, racked it, and came back around, what were you shooting at? Did you acquire a target or did you just start shooting? I shot at the door. What door? door? Which door? The um, rear passenger. You shot at his door? Yes. What was the purpose of that? Save my life. From the door? No. Um, he was coming out of his door, and I guess he went back in it, but that's where he was um, I just said, prior. Hypothetically, you're him exchange words. He opened the door to go in the store to use the bathroom. He wouldn't have said, you're dead, bitch. And then, I mean, uh, I'm just saying. Well, well then I guess I, I would be in trouble if that was the case. That that's not what happened. And yes, sir. She's in the store the whole time. Yes, sir. So she's not privy to any of this. She doesn't no, see she, any of this. She is living. She basically stands at the counter, counter, and all of a sudden she starts hearing gunshots. Okay. So many gunshots that she leaves the line on the counter. <laughs> yeah, paid for it. Paid for it, and left the wine and chips. Didn't even take it with her, because at that point, and it's going out the door, going something, basically calling your name. She, she said um, that the first volley they heard, and then when I got out of the car, they said, oh, it's the guy in the black car. And she thought it was me, and, you know, she, she told me this later. She goes, I was telling them, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that guy. Not a, he's, you guys are safe. Mm -hmm. What guys were safe? It definitely wasn't the guys in the truck. Well, the people inside the store. Well, yeah. I, I feel really bad about the boys in the truck, you guys. I really do. If I can and, and, and let me, I'll, I'll, I'll let you it. in um, just from, from our doing our investigation. We are so lucky. Really? There should be three of those four should have been hit. Three of those four. You could have three dead guys right now. Okay. Luckily for the guy in the front seat, his door stopped the bullets. They entered the door, but they didn't go all the way in. Because the front door's got bullet holes in it. Okay. And there's another one you shot when you were doing the... The, the uh, suppression fire, basically, to keep their heads down as they're driving away. You put one in the back of the car, several shots directly into the rear of the truck, and one of them comes zinging in through the back and goes right up and hits the sun visor where the driver is as he's driving out. Didn't miss his noggin by much. You know, so we very easily have three victims at this point. Luckily, those guys didn't get hit or any way, shape, but they're all fine. Except for the one poor, the poor guy who's pretty much was dead right there. It didn't take him long. He was gone. It's, 
you know, but and that's and I'm I'm just letting you know we're just and like I said we we see a lot of scenarios and we deal with threatening situations. I mean, we it's not you know we deal with them all the time where somebody defends themselves. I mean, we do, and there are clear cut cases where you go, "Yep, sure did, buddy." You know, you defended yourself. Have a nice day. You know. But let me be the first to tell you, this ain't one of them. Not one of them. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. Okay, because unfortunately, we have between the witnesses and the trial, we even, yeah, they're friends of the guy in there, but they've got their perception of what's going on. But there's other people there who fill in blanks for us, who are independent. And we haven't had anybody even hint to us that he, one, was getting out of the car, two, that anybody heard any actual physical threats to anybody. There heard some F-bombs getting dropped. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. I mean, did they concentrate on the F-bomb and miss out on the, the verb? I'm just telling you what people tell us. We yeah. ask them, what did you hear? Because I show up at a scene, and I don't know anything about what happened. We just start going, what did you see? What did you hear? Mm -hmm. What did you see? What did you hear? Because you might hear something different. You might hear something different, see something different. You know, everybody sees things through their own little... And believe me, we've done this long enough that other witnesses see things, can see the same thing, and totally get it wrong. You know, two different stories when you get it wrong. That's why we try to talk to everybody else. Sure. Um, give me a break real, real quick. I want to check my photographs and see if I can find what that is you're talking about. So I can show you and see if you can remember what it is that you think you saw him with. Okay? Because I got some photographs from him in the car. I want to see if, we, if that's good with you. If we can try to figure out what it is you saw. So at least we're not guessing. Okay? Fair enough. I mean, I'm asking you, man. I'm not real um, good with Gore. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not showing you any pictures like that. I'm not showing you any pictures like that. When, no, no, no. I'm just simply showing you things that are in the truck. No gore, no nothing like that. Okay, I'm not gonna, I don't do that. I'm not gonna throw pictures of guys, of, you know, the victim in front of you. It's not my style, okay? I'm not here for that. But you're telling me you see something in the back. I'm just trying to see if I can figure out what it is you saw. What, what I saw came up on, like where his windows okay. down, come up like this. Okay. Maybe, maybe sticking up like that. And their window's taller than mine. I can't mm -hmm. see They're a little above the barrel. But it was something he picked up off the floor and set there. However, and then he's getting out. Okay. Well, look, let, me find, let me find it. And then that way we can clear up exactly what it is. So that way we're not guessing what I'm we're talking not, about. I'm not um, feeling so hot now that you guys are... Um, Unfortunately, we have that effect. Sometimes. Well, I don't mean sick. I mean, mm -hmm. I actually, I'm starting to be sick in my stomach. I don't know how I can express to you guys that I was in fear for my life. Okay. I've never been so scared in my whole life. I've been mad and my hands shake, mm -hmm. but I was um, so afraid that I didn't have time to think. I only reacted and... I, I don't know how to. And, to and, 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 and understand what we're and understand Anyone what I'm saying to you. you. I'm not there. Okay. You tell me that's what you're feeling. Okay. I take what you're telling me, but I also have to go with what the physical evidence of the scene tells me, and what other people tell me because they interpret things different differently also. Okay. Er, early, early. Earlier you said that you know. The last thing you needed right now was to get in trouble. With what's going on with your life? That oh no, my life is great. Life is That's great. What I'm I'm got a place on the beach. I got a great job. I got a great girl. Mm -hmm. We just got a little puppy. I mean, I've got great friends. Okay. I have everything to look forward to, mm -hmm. and uh, there's nothing. There is nothing that would make me want to jeopardize that. Okay. I have no, no reason to, to want to even attempt to jeopardize what I have. Okay. Were you angry last night when all this happened? 
Not at all. I just left my son's, uh, my firstborn's uh, wedding. wedding. We were in a great mood. We were going to get a bottle of wine and go um, drinking in the room. Were you drinking at the wedding at all? I had a, a toast uh, and um, a rum and coke okay. with the meal. Right. But I wasn't drinking, if that's what you meant. No, I'm just asking, did you, were you buzzing at all? or? or no, I'm no real, um, I have a pilot's license, mm -hmm. and they're real um, sour on DUIs. Mm -hmm. I, get a DUI. I had a DUI when I was uh, in my early 20s, mm -hmm. late teens, and... Um, that one incident is still haunting me to this day in, in that I went to Canada and they got um, a, uh, like a ID check type thing mm -hmm. and they asked me if I'd been arrested. Well, not since I was a kid, but in actuality in 2003 I got pulled over for a traffic and then they said, oh, you have a violation of probation mm -hmm. and, uh, and I got arrested and that was from the the DUI when I was a kid that the... Um, Failure to appear? Well, down in the Keys, it's the um, Salvation Army that does that. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, when I moved to California, I came back in 94. Mm -hmm. I had trouble getting my license because they said that I didn't complete my community service and all that stuff, so I called them. And they had everything in the paper file. They just hadn't entered it in the computer. And so... The failure to appear was the last month or whatever, mm -hmm. and they just didn't enter it into the computer. So it was a snafu, okay. but I, I was in the jail for five days while they were trying to figure it out. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to tell you is I, um, I, I'm real anal about not drinking. Right. Like not you, you made that mistake, you don't want to do it again. Exactly. Fair enough. Okay. Can you get some of the drink? Yes, please, water and be honest. Water? Okay. Well, give me a minute. We'll be right back, okay? doing a thorough investigation that we, that we do, um, I'd like to get possession of that firearm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to do is, it's in your glove box of your car, correct? Which is inside your garage of your house. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I have my keys when I... Yeah, they said they had the, you had the keys. Uh, what I would just simply, what I would like to do is, um, is I have a consent to search form for, I do it for your house and your car because your car is technically in your house. Okay, but what I'm going to look at, obviously, is retrieve the gun that's in your car. Your car is what I'm concerned with. I'm not going to start going through all the rooms of your house or anything like that. I don't care about that. I'll be straight. I'll be straight honest with you. I'm just need to get that gun in the car. Through the house, just don't tear it up. No, no. That's what I say. We don't. We don't do that. First of all, and there's. I have no reason to think there's anything in the house. Okay. The guns in your glove box. That's what I'm looking for. So that, that I need. I don't have to go banging around looking for other stuff. Um, but I want to go over this with you and have you read over it and make sure you understand it first before you consent to it. Okay? Okay. So just read over it. I kind of pre-filled the blanks in there. If you have a question about something, you ask me. You keep the... You I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and finish. I'll ask that question in a second. I'll sign that. Okay. Did you just uh, sign where it says consenting party? Sure. And what were you going to ask me? Um, you normally keep it fully loaded? I keep the magazine loaded. Fully, but not, not chambered. chambered, right. How much does the magazine, how many rounds does the magazine hold? I think 15. 15, okay. So it's a full size, is it a full size 9? Yeah, I mean, it's just like a Beretta, but it's the TARDIS. It's okay. It's made on Beretta tooling. Okay. 
And I know they make all the different, you know, you can get smaller versions, carry, you know, the, the slimmer yeah. ones for inside. It's more of a thing. What, what color is it? I think it's nickel. Nickel? Okay. It's the only, well, silly handgun in the glove box. Okay. Did you, you remember when you purchased, you purchased it, like you said, what, about 20 years ago? Is that what you said, early 90s? Yeah. You just get it up. like 12, 13, I guess. Oh no! It's been it's pushing no, twenty it's years. <laughs> it's pushing twenty years. Yeah, I had it before my um, daughter was, was born. And she was twenty-two. So yeah. Okay. Um. Is there? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Do I? Do I need to get a lawyer? I mean, it sounds like I'm in deep shit. Well, and that is up to you. Okay, that is a decision for you. I cannot advise you on sure, what you should and should not do. I, um, didn't even ask I know the guys have already talked to you. Um, I'm assuming that they said they mentioned to you, but you know that you were arrested, correct? Did they tell you that? You're under arrest? Okay. Maybe they did, but it's hard to hear when you have assault weapons pointed okay. at you. Okay, and the reason they're coming at you with assault weapons is because you had a warrant for your arrest. Okay. Um, we have a uh, Duval County issued a warrant for your arrest. Uh, for murder and attempted murder, okay? That's what you're being charged with right now, okay? Um, just the first step in the process, okay? That's what it is. And he and I don't decide how this goes. What he and I do is basically is try to just gather all the facts of the case and present it to the state attorney and the state, you know, and all, all that thing rigmarole down the road, you know, down the road with deciding, you know, where it goes from there, okay? I'm not here to judge you. I don't, you seem like a decent guy to me. Believe me, you're much nicer than most of the people we end up talking to. Okay. Um, but we just have to go on what we have, evidence-wise. I understand. Okay. Um, is there anything else you wanted to, that you think I should know about, that maybe you haven't, I haven't asked you a question about, or? No, nothing that comes to mind. The only, the only thing that I keep um, Hold on, before you answer, hearing. Hold on, hold on a second. You mentioned earlier that you need a lawyer. Let's, let's stop and get past that. You're not asking for a lawyer right now, right? Because if you are, then we gotta stop talking to you. I want to I'm not more. asking for a lawyer so much now as I was asking for how, I mean, were you asking the way, for advice? Yeah, yeah, the way I see this, this was, um, I was scared for my life mm -hmm. and I um, fought back. Mm -hmm. And you guys are seeing this as murder. But, and so I'm wondering, maybe I should just shut but, up. But before, that's what we got <laughs> to get past. Remember, remember, the, remember the rights that went over? Before we continue to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the rights that went over and said, if you decide you can stop at any time. Okay, that's your right, man. You can you can stop talking at any time. If that, if but that, just for the mere fact that you mentioned that word <laughs> in this room, for all of our sake, you mind, all three of us, we want to make sure that you're not asking for a lawyer right now. Not right this second, okay. but Do probably in about right? two. <laughs> okay. okay, well, we're, we're good. We're, we're good, good enough anyway. We're good. Because we're not. You don't want to violate your rights. No. Okay. I, I understand. I appreciate it. What I was going to say is, um, you know, the um, it, it's... It's too cheap to call them epithets. They were threats. The the you're dead and you're dead bitch. That's what keeps ringing through my mind, in my head. Those were those are the words that freaked me the fuck out. To to okay. pardon that. And 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 so that that's where we're at. And mm -hmm. um, it's where, yeah. And it's, unfortunately, uh, I mean, this is where this is this is where we're at right now. Um, You'll be, they'll process you here first, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take you before they'll, they got to go through all the, all that kind of stuff. But you, you will be brought back to, to Duval County. Okay. Um, and, it, and it goes, like I say, it goes from there. It just, like I said, this is a start. Is there any opportunity to bail? There's no bond. No bond. There's no bond on a, on a murder charge in Duval County. Yeah, it's just, it's standard. Right. Is it automatic that it's a murder charge when it's self-defense? We, I'll explain to you how it works on our end. Uh -huh. We do our investigation. We get our facts. We have a prosecutor from the state attorney's office with us who sees all the facts, sees the case. We confer with the state attorney's office, 
say these are the these are what we have as facts of this case, and they determine yes, you have. We believe there's enough to issue an arrest warrant at this point based off the evidence we have, mm -hmm. and that's why we obtain an arrest warrant based off what we have. Okay. Now, you also, you know, I'm just saying, it's that's why we need to come and talk to you and find out what your side is. Okay. But we just now did that. You know, the past such and such last night, this morning. You know, we haven't had that opportunity. We hadn't had that opportunity to speak with you. Okay. Um, any other questions for me or anything? I could try and answer for you. I'm going to go out. We're going to do. Um, if possible, I don't know if you'll let me now, but if possible, I'd like to use the restroom. I'm sure they can, we'll we'll get the guys to arrange it for you. Absolutely. All right, and then um, um, I. I I really didn't know that I was being charged with murder and attempted murder. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Uh, I would like to talk to an attorney. I don't have one. Okay. And what happens is if you don't, you'll go to, assuming here you'll go to court tomorrow, is what you do. They'll have you go to like a first appearance, basically, that you've been charged, and you'll be assigned at least a public defender to begin with. So you'll have, they'll have counsel provided for you. Remember the rights I read you, if you can't afford an attorney, want to be appointed for you? Yes, I, I can afford it. They're very, I just don't have one. And you'll you have time to make that decision. I don't know any phone numbers. It's all in my phone. And but that, um, you'll, have, you'll be able to get ample time to figure that out. Okay. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. Um, me, me too. I mean, if there is... Um, you know, there's probably about five things I could have gotten done differently last night, but the, it's unfortunate it turned out the way it did. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get with the guys here and we'll get you in the, use the restroom for you, okay? Yeah. 